Ori Schwartz, I've introduced you already. Um, if you, I know we only have about 10 minutes before you have to leave. If you would just give us an update as to the um, patients that are charitetic and what are the challenges you're facing. No, the good news is that at the moment we only uh, have one patient left at the hospital from the latest uh, uh, row of violence. Um, we hope that she will be released within a few days. It's actually a very a terrible story because she lost her husband in the same attack and came to us in a very, very severe, very serious condition. And only after a few days when uh, she was well enough, we were able to tell her that her husband actually was killed. Uh, all other terror victims have been released and we hope that uh, as far as we are concerned, that this will be the end of, of this row. What is the challenges that Shahid Sadiq faces when these type of terrorist attacks happen, in addition to the normal um, overusage of the hospital? We know that the hospital runs at over 100%. So what are the additional challenges that this brings? Look, unfortunately, um, if we have too much experience with these, with these kind of attacks, we should also remember that Shahid Sadiq is, uh, we have a, a, a general trauma unit and uh, at the end of the day, from a hospital point, there is really no difference whether a person is stabbed or whether he is being driven over by accident by a truck. Uh, so we are used to receive uh, trauma patients and 24-7 uh, we have seen again that our trauma system and, and th that our preparedness have paid off and we are always ready. The, the main challenge is when we have got a mass casualty event, and so far that has not been the case, uh, and we hope that it won't be the case. These are major, uh, bigger challenges, but we also prepared for that because we have drills around the year, uh, a few times around the year, and we are as prepared as any hospital anywhere in the world uh, to receive uh, patients. And we have seen again this time uh, that our team has just been doing an outstanding job. And people who literally were declared dead in the ambulance on uh, the way to the hospital are today walking around and are healthy. A lot's, a lot's been said about the um, cultural differences of the patients and the staff. How does that work when these type of uh, casualties come in? Um, terrorist attacks, terrorist victims, the terrorists themselves. You know, Jerusalem is a melting pot. We are, uh, uh, we have here people uh, from all over the world, and we have got cultures from all over the world. And it's not always easy. It's never easy. Uh, however, uh, at least within the four walls of Shari Tzedek, we are able to stay sane, and we are able to keep our emotions to ourselves. Uh, and uh, we are. Uh, I'm happy to say that uh, so far in the current round, the tension that you feel outside the hospital has not been felt within. Uh, and uh, we hope again that this will continue like that because we can only do our job uh, when we stand together as one team. Ori, I can speak on behalf of everyone in this room. There's about 85 um, friends of Shari Tzedek, friends of the Nagels, uh, Mayor Antonio Villagorosa is with us, and um, I know we all send our best regards and our su support, and our, um, I don't write words, not congratulations, but our Shiasha um, Koach for the job that you've done, and we would appreciate if you that share that with the staff of Shari Tzedek. Shalom. I'm and most, yeah, Paul, I most, I most, I most certainly will, and just like to thank you all. It's very important for us that for us here, that you are there, and we appreciate your help and your support very, very much in these, and it is difficult times, even though that this city has been through far more difficult times, or this country has been through more difficult times. It's very important for us that you are here, and your support is important for us. Your moral support is important for us, and we thank you so much for, for being there. We will do our share here, and you do your share there. Thank you very, very much, and have a good evening, and good night. Yeah. You're lucky. Thank <laughs> you.